That time of year again, time for the butter sculpture to return to the Pennsylvania Farm Show. And this year's sculpture was unveiled in Harrisburg yesterday, depicting a family. You see them there at a table with their animals, and it was created by a pair of artists from right here in our region. Marie Pelton and Jim Victor join us now from Conshohocken. Marie, Jim, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you here. So, have you ever done a butter sculpture before, and how were you chosen for this project? <laughs> yes, we've done many butter sculptures before. In fact, this is our 22nd year at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. Oh. Jim did his first one in 1995, and then I joined him about six years later doing the Farm Show butter sculpture. So you guys are veterans at this, and looking at the sculpture, I mean, it, it's a work of art, really. And I think people are always curious. We have some time lapse video of, of you putting it together. How long did this take? I, I can only imagine it's a whole lot of work. Yeah, well, we went there on December 20th. We started actually the 21st, got everything in there. We got, there's armatures, uh, you'll see it in the video here. Armatures are the structures that are underneath the butter. They hold uh -huh. the butter. We make those in our studio in Concho. I can, and then we take them there, set them up, and then cover them with butter and model the butter into the forms that we want. I'm wondering so, how high um, your cholesterol levels are, but first of all, how long will this last? And what happens to all that butter once the show's over? Yeah, well, it's going to be on display until the end of the show, so which I believe it's on the 13th. And so after that, um, it'll be cut, you know, scraped down, and the butter is going to be put into an anaerobic digester at a farm in Juniata County, Pennsylvania. Um, the anaerobic digester can turn that organic material into electricity. So oh. it has a whole life after being a, a work of art. That's really neat. So how much butter did it take to create the sculpture? Uh, it's about a thousand pounds we have there. Wow. I was going to say, uh, had you not been intake. recycling it that way, <laughs> I love butter. I would have pulled up with uh, some crackers, a, a butter knife, and got some work to help you out there. It looks fantastic. And it's, it's a lot of detail yeah. and, and precision that goes into this. What's next? Any other butter sculptures or projects you're working on? Yeah, actually, there's a couple that we're working on now. And, um, you know, uh, one uh, which concerns kind of a little filming, a little video of Jim and I um, demonstrating butter sculptures. And I'm not sure how it's going to be made available to the public, but that's on the horizon. And then possibly even a little competition TV show. Oh, so we'll that, that would be exciting. Maybe wow. butter versus margarine. I'll vote for butter every <laughs> butter day. Butter all the day, mm -hmm. all the way. Listen, guys, this is a lot of fun, and we're so happy that uh, you guys are representing our region at the farm show this year. As as the saying goes, butter makes everything better. <laughs> Maria and Jim, thank you so much. Great to have you guys this morning. Thank you so yeah, much thanks. for having us.